We're just over halfway through the presidential primary season, and Republicans are beginning to think about what was once unthinkable, the fact that there might be a contested convention. That's what will happen if no candidate shows up at the convention having secured a majority of the delegates. And the magic number to secure a majority is 1,237. Now, Donald Trump is clearly on track to have more delegates than anyone else committed to him, but it's not clear he gets to the magic number. So that's when we end up in a contested convention. And here's how we do the math. Right now, there are 22 states left to vote, and that means that there are 1,002 delegates left to be allocated. If Donald Trump gets 57% of those delegates, he's hit the magic number. It's much, much harder for Ted Cruz. He needs to win 83% of the delegates remaining. And John Kasich, there's no way he can get to the magic number, even if he wins every delegate that's left. So for him, the only way to get the nomination is if it's a contested convention. So what happens then? When they first get to the convention, delegates have to vote for the candidate that they've pledged to vote based on the results of their state primaries. But if nobody gets a majority and it goes to a second ballot, most delegates can vote for anybody they want. And that's where the horse trading begins. Now, we don't know if this is gonna happen, but one sure sign that it's increasingly likely, all three of the candidates have begun to prepare for a possible contested convention.